City officials now have a quote for how much it would cost to tear down Collins Tower in Danville. That new estimate shows that cost what more than $1.3 million. WCI3's Courtney Bunting is live in our newsroom. So, Courtney, does this mean they're going to demolish it? Well, Jennifer, it's not quite that simple. The mayor and city council members have to decide now how they want to move forward. But whatever does happen, people I talk to say they're just ready to see it come down. It's obvious they're going to have to do something. But what will that something be? That's the question many in Danville are asking about the nearly 100-year-old Collins Tower. I actually was standing one day um, and saw something fall from it. This was before the barricades were up. There was a lady walking at the time, and she jumped, of course, and so it, it did make me realize they have to do something for the safety, and of course now they have the barricades up, which is fine, but then that looks even worse. Now city leaders are faced with a possible $1.35 million bill to tear it down, but that decision would affect a lot of people. The tower is owned by the Collins Group. It also shares a wall with the county's annex building. When both buildings were built, uh, there's some utilities that run, I have been told, through the walls down there uh, that are common for both buildings. County leaders moved to the county building around a year and a half ago because of safety concerns. At this point, they have no need for the annex and have ruled out the possibility of separating the two because of expense. And we've been wanting to take action on, on the annex for quite some time, but we just didn't know where the tower was going. Whatever happens, many can't wait for the decision to be made. At the, at the end of the day, I think that I mean, something has to be done, and I think the mayor's moving in the right direction to make sure that something is done. I reached out to the owners of Collins Tower, but they didn't want to comment. They have talked to us about several plans in the past, and some of those include a 1920s themed hotel, indoor amusement park, and speakeasy. They've also talked about plans for a restaurant, retail space, and living space. No word on where things stand right now. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. What we do know is something has to be done. Exactly. All right, thank you. If city leaders decide to tear it down, Mayor Williams says they would would have to go to court and get a demolition consent decree on the grounds that the building poses an imminent threat. There's no date or even idea in place for when the tower could come down. City leaders say it's just an idea they're looking into.